Good afternoon, my fellow artists. <sighs> it is Sunday. Um, I have downloaded and then re-uploaded, edited, and uh, put in the latest installment of... Uh, it was the, the, I just posted the hmm, pasting and painting installment. And then last night before I went to, to bed, I had to see how it would work. Ooh, right, ooh, that's not good. I have this tendency to keep leaving things open. It's not good. I did it with this too. I was so tired last night as I was laying down that I really didn't think to do that. All right, so it works. It works smoothly and happily, and we will put a, um, a thingy here so that it can't go beyond that spot. Ta-da! Now, I've had an awesome request for a flag up off top, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have to make the flags sit up above and I might, I'm, I, I'm considering it. I'm considering how to do it. Number one. And number two, I think I'll have to wait until the book is finished before I put the flags up top. But I think it would be a cool element in the book to have those coming off the top. I think it'd be cool. And uh, a couple people have mentioned it. Faye, Sue, great suggestions. I really do love that suggestion. And, um, it is very possible that that will come to pass. It's probably going to wait, though, until the end of the book um, where I don't have to worry about hitting anything and, and breaking those flags or bending those flags. So that's going to be a future addition, most likely. Uh, it, it's going to have to be because I can't have things hanging up top or down the bottom. I transport the book too much. I manhandle it. I yeah, yeah I can't be that careful. <laughs> I can't. I'm already having to be careful with this darn thing. Um, okay. So we have lots of pages here. And we have some painted paper so that I can try to figure out how to do the dang pop-up section. Um, I in the last video I did list all of the different paint products that I use, all of the distress inks, all of um, everything. I like these little pieces. I think those are really gorgeous. I was looking at the video today as I was doing it and I was just like, oh, oh, because you know, I was just looking at that side. And, oh wait, that's really pretty. Okay, anyway, squirrel. We'll go off of that side. We're just going to put this down. Uh, I think that just had Mod Podge on it, so. Okay. Just giving myself a flat workspace to work on here. Okay. And then my little kids. Is that not perfect? Or what? I mean, the little creepy, the little creepy creeper. And then this guy here. He's pretty creepy also. Now why? Wait, wait, wait. This is this guy. Yes. That guy goes there. It's still a little tight. I've had to trim down these edges, of course, which would be expected. Um, just to clean up those edges so that it can slide easily. And we'll give this one just, it's just taking off whatever paint has gotten on the side and whatever paper has kind of spun over. Well, now, now it's really loose. <laughs> there's, there's no balance. Okay. Um. I found a little girl. She's going to go on here. Somewhere. She's pretty cool, huh? Oh, here's a little boy in a sailor suit. He's pretty awesome. This little kid looks like this little kid. It's kind of the same outfit. 
35 cents for price for a boys wash suit, three to 10 years old. Huh. Sailor collar and cuffs made from navy blue sateen. White monogram worked into center of shield, cord and whistle with every suit. This is a splendid value. This guy's pretty cool too. I like him. So these little creatures though, I'm sure I, I like them. They'll probably get sprinkled throughout the book. So, you know, just here and there I can put in these funky people. I'm going to set those to the side right now, though, and focus on construction. Dun, dun, dun. My um, hole got a little bit off right there. So I just put a piece of you know, paper in there behind it and uh, glued this down tightly. This is not glued down as tightly, although maybe it should have been. I don't think I can get in there right now. So yes, I do want to glue these little crossbars. Um, so this one I cut from this guy. So uh, doesn't look beautiful. Oh God. Okay. Must be number four. Where's number two? Three. Where's number three? Colin, number three. Where did you go? Oh. Guys, do you see it here? I guess we can get rid of this. What was this for? Okay. Just cutting something. Cutting something big. We'll go closed. These we will need here not too long. Oh, we might need that cutter back, actually. Okay, these these go together with this. Okay, bag can go in the trash. Pieces of cardstock they can get put into. Stash pile. Let's turn these a little bit. Where am I missing it, guys? I mean, it's got to be right here. Right? Oh, jeepers. I did sleep. I did. I did sleep, thankfully. Uh, it's been a little bit of a rough morning, though. I'm not going to lie there. Uh, I slept well. But... Uh, this morning I had to reiterate and re-hurt a person that I actually did care about a great deal and uh, that's upsetting. It was very upsetting, you know. I don't like hurting people. It's not my MO. It's not what I want in my life at all. And uh, uh, I just don't have any choice. Where's my brown stays on? Okay, do we see that? Wait, oh, there it is. Golly. Let's just stack the stays on. So we know where it's at. Put that over there, put this over here. Oh my gosh, all this creating just makes a mess. These are not my good glasses, unfortunately. These are my reader glasses, but I still can't really work very well with them on. But let's see if we can, if we can do it. They do give me a, a small magnification for the computer screen, but they're really good for 20 feet away. Not really quite so good for immediate. All right, we are just taking our uh, timber brown and edging. We are letting it go a little bit over. We are wanting to pick up some of those beautiful folds in there. Okay. 
I think one of these I had to actually cut down too. I'm, I'm not, I can't remember if I cut it down. I, this might be the one that's too long. Yeah, it's too long. All right, let's get this guy. So this was the Wild Honey Distress Ink. I used, a, that's a Tim Holtz Ranger. I used the Fired Brick, which is also a Tim Holtz Ranger product. I used Tattered Rose, again, Tim Holtz Ranger. I used London Blue, which is a Dilusions. And I used Tattered Brass. Tarnished Brass, sorry, Tarnished Brass. Um, and this is a metallic. It's nice. I, I diluted the metallic with the tattered rose, which you just saw me do all that. Um, I need a little bit of glue right there. Okay. We're going to also double check these guys. Do one final edging with them. Is that brass does just kind of... Um, Dull down the browns a little bit. I already talked about the flag plan, right? I can't remember what I'm saying today. Uh, I need to not be quite so obsessed with this book. I've got things I have to do. Um, but those of you that know me know that I do not like to work on two projects at once. And I do not like to leave something halfway done. It's, uh, I don't know if that's an OCD thing in me. Uh, I think I just get really focused on something, and I don't think that that's a bad thing. Um, and I'm excited about this book. I am so excited about doing this page that, uh, for me, it's really hard to generate that excitement with something else, you know. Until I see what I can make into this. I can see what it does. My neck is incredibly sore. Of course, I sat at my table all day long and I'm looking forward like this the whole day and my posture. But there's nothing I can do about my posture. I'm working at, I don't know, maybe if I had a little bit taller chair. But then when I sit on um, something, then it causes my back to, to sit cockeyed. And when that happens, then I get a horrible back. So, part of me does want to put some of this gold edging on it here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's necessary. Holy schmoly. Look at that. That's beautiful. I should probably be doing this with the um, stays on gold, but uh, it's really kind of sticky. And, um,. It's very nice to use, don't get me wrong. I just have to put the ink out with it, and it's just not quite as convenient. Uh, I do love the color box color, which that's what this is. This brand is color color box, but um, it's not a permanent. So, you know, nobody's going to be dunking this underwater anyway, hopefully. Kick their butts if that happens. If I do it, I'd have to kick my own butt. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to push that down there. And we're going to edge here. And here. It's okay if we get a little bit in there in those cracks. I think that's actually kind of cool. I don't want a ton in there, but a little bit. Is awesome. I had another friend call today and I couldn't pick up at the time that they called. I should call them back. I'm just, I'm just kind of emotionally drained right now. It, which that's not unusual as a lead up to a show. When I get done with shows, I'm generally exhausted. Um, and even though it was only showing for two hours, it was still, you know, trying to figure out what to take, 
how to um, you know show as much as I could in the space that I could and all of that. And I ran all day long on Friday. Oh boy, did I run. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just doing a double check here. It looks like we got everything. I made coffee. I haven't taken a sip of it. I made afternoon coffee because morning coffee was over. So I kind of want to do a stamp like right in here. And there's something I'm wanting to do here, isn't there? I'm like, I want to put it over the top. And why would I do that? Because look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh God, it's gorgeous. It's a very light touch. And we do know I like, I like to have metallics. I like to have the shimmer in there. And I, I do think that having uh, a gold ink pad like this is a necessity. I think it's a necessary tool. Uh, it's a little bit of blue right there. If I can leave it kind of tattered though, that's all right. little edges of the bag. I, I love what the products can do and what they bring to, to the show, you know? Um, yeah, for me, I'm not sitting there complimenting myself. I'm complimenting what the products do for the, for the, the piece itself. Um, and just that extra bit of sunlight. I mean, that's going to be great uh, reflective quality to that gold, too. And it fits in so well. Oh, so beautiful. Love it! Do it to one, do it to all. It's, good. it's a good general rule to live by. Those top ones don't matter. The bottom, sure. Add a little, add a little juice to the bottom. Number two. All right. Let's put a little bit of this distress glaze on. It does help with um, taking any stickiness off of this. It also does, I think it sets it a little bit. Um which doesn't hurt considering, you know, the products that I'm using. And it gives it a little tiny glossy shine. That's gorgeous. Right. Now, it does kind of take away a little bit of that gold, though. Since the gold is not uh, water soluble, there's that gold right there, tarnished gold. 
I was thinking about doing it on here too. Maybe just a light coat. Let's just do a light coat. It actually brings out this really beautiful gloss. Wow. Gorgeous. See the difference? Can we see the difference? Oh, we can absolutely see the difference. See what happens with the wild honey? Part of me wonders, you know, if you could use like Vaseline to do this instead of this glaze. I don't know what this glaze product is. Yeah, and of course you don't want to use something that, um, oh, that's why I was waiting to use it. Because if I have to put a photo over the top of this, I don't know how well it's going to stick. Since this is kind of a little, seems to be a little greasy thing. All right, let's get this uh, fixed up. Mod Podge. So I got the tower done. I got this tower done, right? Yeah. See? It helps the stickiness. I just bumped you. Let's make sure you are in view because it looks like your tripod is off. Looks like we're pretty good, huh? Sorry. Now I'm warm. I should go grab some aspirin for my neck. So those two should be at the same place. So, I think I'm going to come up to, like, to there. I want it to stop out. I want it to come out as far as it can, obviously. And this one can come up to there, too. Okay. So, let's take the Fabri-Tac again. Again, this was a great suggestion off of the one of the art journal people I've been watching. And uh, this kind of gives me a headache. So we don't want it to go on the inside of this, of course, but we need for it to be sure to go on the outside. And we do want it to go to there. And I'm only gluing half at a time. So that I can... Actually, I think I can making sure all sides are where I want them to be and tiny hole there has to be lined up just so. So this allows me to move it around. Um, I 
and then to let it dry also, and to also make sure it's screwing up. It shouldn't be. So this is absolutely the right side up. Sure, we can keep her free flowing. Okay, what's catching? It already pulled off part of that image. I don't think that we needed that image there on the back side, so we could probably not do that one. But it's possible that it's torn more than that. Nope, it got torn off at another point. Buffet manual? Mix, oh, buffet manual. Mix fancy drinks. That's the one. That will get changed out into one of the kids. The kids are just too perfect. All right, see how quickly that glue dries, and how strongly it dries. That's that's an awesome thing. It's really, it's really an awesome thing. Okay, so let's get this other side glued down. Make sure everything's sitting in here where we want it. All right. Start out with our little sidebar here. Don't, you know, here it's not quite as important that you don't worry about getting it on the inside of that. But, you know, this is coming up just a touch, so. Last week I took myself to the movies. Oh, it's nice to go do something again. I was talking with another friend of mine and he wants to uh, commission a book from me. Uh, he saw my last one with the cityscape and was you know, super impressed. And he mentioned he wanted me to make one for him. Uh, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I didn't really think much more on it. Then I heard from him yesterday. He's like, oh, no, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> well I really hadn't. Um, and I, I'm hesitant on doing a commission, really, because I did a commissioned piece of art and ended up the guy didn't like it, the person that I did it for. I didn't think it would be appropriate for the person who was receiving it. Just weird. Uh, which, the piece got a ton of attention and was really well received and, you know, uh, <laughs> okay. So I know that that wouldn't happen, but, you know, I want to make sure that it would be something that somebody would be really super happy with. And we'll see. We'll see how that goes around. Um, you know, we'll definitely have to discuss it a lot more. Let's 
Ta-da! Kind of a pain thinking about redoing this. And I love that piece that's on there. But I want this little girl to be here and she looks happy. I think I put some of that wax on this guy too. I don't know how well this is going to work, so we're going to use a bit of this stuff that I know is super stick. Let's put some Mod Podge on there too. I'm not thinking that that's enough glue. Come here, baby. Come here. Don't stay there. Don't, 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 don't. Don't stay there. Don't do that. Don't go crooked. Girl. You're more of a pain than what you're worth. Third time. Do it three times if you have to do it three times. Get it right. It took me two more seconds to do it right. No laziness. Just bring in a little tiny brush. Uh, let's bring in this guy. A little bit flat. Flat, not a filbert. She's got enough glue under her. There's your answer. Brush corduroy. You do it to one, do it to all. She's good. She's good, no? Yeah. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh. Got a little sticky in there. Stuck to some of the glue, most likely. Oh, it is sticky in there. Let's make sure it's not this. Back sheet here. wouldn't hurt to get this little extra greasing here.
Ta-da! Wish this was a little bit brighter up here. This this got kind of glicky up there. It's okay though. I, I don't mind it. It's just a little bit a little bit dark right there. I like that sunlight look. Okay. So remember I just cut these at five by eight. Or I thought I did. <laughs> Obviously I did. Five by eight and a half on that one. Um but remember this page here is shorter than the five by eight so that it folds in. So how much shorter is it? That's what I need to find out. Mm, 12 centimeters exactly, but Swoopy doesn't do centimeters. Swoopy does inches. So we've got four and three quarters. All right. So I think we want to take it down to just a touch shy of four and three quarters. We want to make sure that it folds in. Oh, I think we're okay though. Let's look here. From here to here. That would, see, that's four and three quarters right there. Let's do four and whatever sixteenths that is. Eighth. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five eighths. Four and five eighths. By eight. Let's take this from here. Four and five eighths. Quarter. How come that's... Oh, this must be the taller one. <laughs> Why is it like that? You had one that was taller. Paper. So it hangs over just a touch. I don't think I want it to do that. Off of that, and that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so how much was this? Hmm. So one, one notch over from the half inch, and let's look at the popcorn. Let's take off from this side. Actually, we should take off from both sides, shouldn't we? Okay, and we're going to come over here and take off one more tiny bit. And then we'll go eight inches here. Yes, touch under eight inches. Okay. Oh, they're cool strips, aren't they? those for something. <laughs> if you know me, you know I will. There gets to be something sticky in there. I think it has to do with here. Oh, I hope that wasn't a mistake to do that. Half inch. Half inch. This is a uh, Memory Keepers Crop a Dial Corner Chomper. Or you can just take your scissors and cut your corners. Let's trim. trim those papers. And hope that we can fit this back in there. And try to remember which way is right. Oh, it does. Oh, it's so good. So good. Works pretty awesome. 
my little girl. There, little boy there. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to do a little magnety thing in there to make those stick. We know that this has to come out where our safety bars are at, where our stopper bars are at. So here, our stopper bars are at, I'm just going to use millimeters, I'm sorry guys, uh, 10 millimeter to 11 millimeter. I think that's a pretty safe bet, 10.1. This looks like my fingernail. Is that right? 10.2 10 point to 11. 10.1 to 11. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So. Let's do it on this side. 10.1, find a little bit sharper, writing utensil, <laughs> this thing I think died long ago, no, 10.1 to 11, that one, I'll go over here, do the same, Ten and one, and 11 and 1. The width is three and, or two and a half millimeters. Um, so let's do this here first. And do this. And let's find where this is at first. So we're at four and a half. It's actually 4.6. And then we start back up at uh, 7.4. Okay, so 12 was about where we were at, so I'm just scooching this over just a little bit. Okay, so 4.5 or 6 is going to put it right here. And then 7.4 right there. We're going to scoot it down. Now, let's make sure this is the same here, same on both sides, so we can call that four and a half, and we're going to call that almost four and a half, and so it's very close, and we've got a little extra space and a little extra space. What did I say? What about this two and a... So that gives it three millimeters. That gives it three millimeters. Perfect. Huh. Okay. Let's take our sharpest little scissors. Come on, baby. Come on. Puncture. Puncture. Okay. And I like to take it out to the corners.
And again, I, I do want a bit of a jaggedy edge on this. I just want to make sure that it's right first. So. Measurements are pretty exact. Let's make sure we're lined up though. Now what happens there? Okay, so I'm taking it off of a bit inside of there. Um, I can open this up a little bit more on this side. So I can push it a little bit more over, which I think would be better here. And so let it let it breathe a little bit more. Okay, this is still a creepy kid. This, 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 this. this sloper down goes over here. This one also has a creepy kid on it. I do need to give just a little half a touch of space there. Alright, so I think from here what I'm going to do is put you guys on fast forward and then I can um, watch some TV or watch a show. Which I don't actually have cable. I just have Netflix and Amazon and iTunes. I'd love to watch a movie. Now, to make that even the way it's sitting in there. I do need to make it just another half a millimeter. I want it to sit right there, so I want to bring over just a touch more. Just a touch more to open up that spot just a little bit. Now if you don't, if you do too much at once, then you're kind of screwed, right? It's much harder to add it on than it is to take it off two times slowly, in, in my opinion. All right, so that should be perfect. Okay, and then I'll use this to template onto this. Right there, right there, actually, I'll just do it like that. There's my beautiful little fine marker. Ta-da! Yeah, I, I do want it just to kind of have, a, I don't, if I wanted an exact line, all I would have to have done is take it with my X-Acto knife and just cut it very easily on a cutting board. Uh, probably would have been easier to do it that way. But uh, I like the roughness of this cut look. So it's a very purposeful way of thinking about how you want your cuts to come up, uh, across. Um, do you want a clean cut? Do you want um, kind of a vintage grungy cut? These are all things to consider. And this scissors has just a tiny bit of serration to it, so it does give a interesting look. And while you're here with me still, on in the right place here.
catching again right there at that exact same spot. This guy just keeps coming out of the bottom. Okay, so that's the second time that those have caught right there. It's good to know. Probably best, well, it's, oh, it's the tape part too. I can feel the tape underneath of there. So the tape that I used to hinge it, the um, Mod Podge didn't like to glue to that tape very well. Oh, I just pulled this head off, you little brat. Are we okay on this side? Well, we seem to be okay on the other side. How's this one? Okay, we should be okay. to come down crooked. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do from here. I'm going to glaze these guys. I'm going to glue these on. And it'll take a half hour, at least. And, uh, yeah. All right, I'll come back in a, in a little bit. Okay, bye.